So in this video, I want to introduce the collocate tool of Anconc. So let's look at that now. Okay, so how do we use the collocate tool of Anconc? So first we need to start the software. So you'll see here, um, I have the, um, the icon. If we double click that, then we will see uh, this display. And as I've explained in other videos, it starts out with no data showing. Uh, we have to load in a corpus before we can do some analysis. So for the examples here, I'm going to go to File, Open Corpus Manager, and here I'm going to choose a corpus. And uh, I've been using this Amio 6 uh, 1 million word general English corpus, which is pre-built within Anconc, and I'm going to uh, use the learned subcorpus of that, which is um, 80 texts from academic discourse. So this is uh, academic texts, 161,560 words in these files. And so let's click OK there. Okay, so how do we use the collocate tool? Um, so corpus analysis is all about finding patterns in the corpus. And uh, with the quick tool, we can find out where a word, um, how a word is being used. Uh, within the context on the left and right. Uh, in the plot tool, we can look for where the word or phrase appears. With the file tool, we can look at how it's used in an individual file. And then we have the cluster tool and ngram tool to find out these, these chunks or clusters or ngrams. Uh, the collocate tool looks at uh, a word or a phrase and looks at words which are nearby, uh, close friends, of that search term. It doesn't have to be next to it though, it could be a couple of words away on one side or the other. And this can be very useful if we're trying to find which words are connected with other words, but not necessarily forming a traditional cluster. So let me uh, use the word we as an example, which I've used in other demonstrations as well, and generate some collocates of we. And then I'll discuss how we can refine these results. Okay, so if we search for the collocates of we, what do we get? Well, um, in the display here, we can see the collocate. So this is a word which is appearing nearby we in the corpus. We can also see its frequency and its frequency, sorry, this is the frequency of the word, the collocate itself in the corpus. And we can also see the frequency near we. So how its frequency on the left and right, and then the frequency on the left or the right, and the number of files in which it appears. And then we have some statistics here, which I'll explain in a moment. So what we can see immediately is this strange word, VE, is appearing on the left of we twice and on the right of we twice, with a total of four times. Now, uh, what is VE? This would be something like weave. So we apostrophe VE is seemingly the most uh, common collocate. Now, let me talk about some of the parameters or conditions here. So as with other tools, we can set um, the search to be words or word fragments. We can also look for words with uppercase and lowercase, uh, so case sensitive searching. We can also use regex searching if you know about regular expressions. The important function here though, or parameter here, is the window size. So how many words to the left and right are we looking, uh, are we looking at when we're looking for these close friends? And the setting here is four words to the left and four words to the right of the target word. And we also have parameters for the minimum frequency of this collocate and the minimum range of the collocate. So how many files does this word have to appear in? Let me talk briefly then about the statistics here. So we have two statistics that determine if these nearby words are really friends or not. One of these is the likelihood measure. So this is a, a statistical measure to say that these words appear statistically significantly closely compared to chance. And we can also rank by this value um, in some cases too. The effect is how close they are in terms of friendship. So it's another statistical measure. 
and it and it can be used to rank the strength of the collocate the collocation so we can because at the moment we're sorting by effect size then we can see that IVE is the strongest collocate of we and the second is intend but we can change these statistics if we want. So if I go to the settings uh, menu and go to the tool settings and go to the collocate settings here, you can see now what the statistical measures are. So the likelihood measure, this probability measure, is determined here using log likelihood, uh, a standard measure in the field. And it also has a, a statistical threshold, a critical value, which is um, p-value of less than 0.05 and uh, which is a value of 3.84 in this case. So all of these values will be above 3.84 but it also has a Bonferroni correction so it corrects for multiple tests so the actual values here are going to be a little bit need to be a little higher than 3.84 to clear that threshold. And then the effect size measure here is um, MI or mutual information and if you want to use a different measure like DICE or MI2, MI3, we have T-score, Z-score, uh, uh, relative frequency and so on, you can choose these but the default is MI which is a common value, a common method or common statistic used in the field and we can also then um, have a threshold of the effect size say the top 10 or the top 50 or the top 100 in this case, I'm choosing all of them. Okay, so um, looking at these results, you may understand why VE is a strong colligate of we, weave. But what about intend? Well, we intend to, we perceive, we ourselves. That seems a little unusual. Uh, but we can see that it appears on the left three times and on the right six times. Uh, and um, on the left and right combined is nine. Okay, a couple of things to explain here is um, you may look at these frequency scores and think they're a little high, um, especially when we look at these words in on their own and search for them in the quick concordance, for example. The reason why these frequencies are high is because when we are looking for this search word, we're looking uh, at the search word with a span from left to right. So we're effectively doing checks multiple times and this multiple testing needs to be uh, accounted for with the frequencies. So these frequencies are, are effectively the raw frequency of these words multiplied by the span in which this word could appear. It's a little technical but um, please think about that. A couple of things we can do here is we can change the sort order. So we can, instead of sorting by effect, we could sort by, for example, frequency. And then, of course, the most frequent words appear here. What we might also want to do is to cut out some of these uh, words or collocates with very low frequencies or low range scores. So if I up the frequency, the minimum frequency here, and then look at the results. Uh, some of the low frequency items will be removed and we, st we start getting more kind of real collocates uh, in the data. And you'll notice that not all of these are immediately appearing next to the original word or we. Uh, maybe ourselves will come um, in a phrase we find ourselves or so let's look so we can click on ourselves and we can then look to, at this and we can say here we find ourselves, we lose ourselves, we were saying to ourselves and this is where the collocate tool can be very powerful. So it's not finding words directly next to each other but finding words near each other that are statistically significantly friends of each other and with a strength that we can determine by this statistic here. So how do we uh, save the results? As with other tools, we would select everything, 
Uh, probably we want to select all the hits first. So we look, we select all the hits first. Then we um, click on the top left here to select all the results, copy those, and then we can go to, for example, Excel here and paste in the results into Excel like that. And as with other tools, we can also go to the file view, the file menu, and we can go here and save the current tab results. And if we do that again, we can then save the results, for example, as um, color cut results like that. And then if we go to the uh, folder where I save the results, color cut results here, and we get all the results, which can then be pasted into uh, Excel or some other tool for further analysis. So those are the basic features of the Colicut tool of AntConc. So please give it a go.